بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب زدني علما so next thing we need to understand the direction of the interface and of course we need to decide the right direction as well so basically first we need to understand the inbound and outbound now inbound means basically on the router uh, in simple words we can say the traffic coming towards the router interface and outbound means traffic leaving the router interface which means if you try to see the flow of the traffic here uh, this host a is trying to access the server one and let's say this is my traffic flow and in our example this is what the source what we are considering as per my standard acl or extended acl again the same rule will apply for both standard or extended here so let's say i'm assuming this is my source and this is my destination so when the traffic is flowing and it hits this interface okay so what is the direction here this is okay so basically we say if you are applying on this interface this will be inbound right because it hits this particular interface and it is receiving towards the router and remember thing one thing so you need to decide depending upon the router because the acl is sitting here and we need to figure out whether the traffic should be checked before the router forwards or after the router forwards so which means when the packet comes from here let's say the source address is 1.1 and the destination is 2.1 the destination address is 2.1 of course they will be in different subnets now when the packet hits the router and when i'm applying inbound means it is going to check the acl rule first and then after that in that according to that it will check whether it is permit or denied and if it is deny it will drop okay if it if it is denied it will drop so there is no way it will forward the packet so there is no need to check the routing table but if the rule is permit then it is going to check the routing table and as per the routing table again it will forward the packet out of that specific interface so that is inbound inbound means uh, when it is coming towards the router interface remember this you have to see as per the router according to your router so let's say i'm not applying the acl on this interface so the packet comes here and it is going to the router and the router is sending and i'm applying the acl on this interface let's say so when i'm applying the acl on this interface it means that here we'll be applying outbound direction because if you see here the traffic is leaving this interface just like if you just like if you just want the security check to be done there are two options either you can check when the person is trying to enter into the premises let's say this is my office premises so before he enters i can filter or there are some sometimes you know for employees maybe you have some employees or visitors you do some checking bef before they leave just like uh, when you generally visit some companies they check your laptops and basically they check the ear the the number you know the serial number kind of thing just to ensure that you are carrying the right laptop so so this is something what i have seen generally when you enter into some of the offices premises uh, basically so before you leave so basically you are already in and you are leaving outside okay so when you are seeing this you are seeing in terms of this office similar way in our case we need to see in terms of router when the traffic is coming towards the router or going far from the router or leaving the router so in this case if i consider this router so if i consider this as a direction this will be in and this will be out so it means let me come to the out because i have already discussed the in so when you are saying out means what it is going to do is first it will check the routing table and it will tell what is the next stop and exit interface so we discussed this in the routing part already and when the router route strikes out the packet the router says before you leave stop i have some rules to check so again the acl rules are checked okay so that is what outbound so the outbound means after the router makes a forwarding decision it means this first step checks the routing table <laughs> and then determine the exit interface okay so basically once it decides the exit interface then the acl is applied on that interface let's say then it is going to check that so this is a technical you know explanation on deciding in and out but in simple when you are remembering you need to figure out if i'm applying this interface if the traffic is coming towards that interface then it is in 
and when the traffic is coming somewhere and it is going far from the interface that is out means going far means someone is going out of your home generally we say outbound someone is coming towards your towards your uh, home basically that is inbound so knowing this is important so which means now as per our example if you remember we decided this is your right interface the g0 by 0 interface now this interface has two directions now let me let let's just guess this what is this interface what is the direction of this one the first one so it is going to be in or out okay so this is actually in and this is out okay so this is your inbound and this is your outbound as per that interface because basically we have to see in terms of router that interface so anything coming towards that interface so what is my interface g0 by 0 and this g0 by 0 interface so anyone coming towards the interface is in and when anyone going leaving that interface or going towards this interface is outbound because normally i have seen you know people generally guess this way the other way opposite way like you just simulate that you know this is your source address and this is your destination address you just say now you generally think this is in actually but this is actually out this is not in this is wrong so why it is wrong because basically this is outbound because we should not see how the traffic is flowing so the traffic flow we are not going to see of course this is the source as per my traffic flow this is my destination so we should not see where exactly it is landing so we are not sitting here acl is not sitting here on the server to see that acl is actually sitting here on this interface now when it sees the flow of the traffic it will see whether this particular traffic is leaving the router interface or coming towards the router interface what is the direction here this is actually outbound as per this interface because it is leaving the interface you can see this is leaving or going far from your gate or from your far from your interface okay so anything you you check remember if i apply the acl on this interface towards the interface is in and far from the interface is out so similar way if i go with this interface let's say just an example this is in and this is out okay so check from this interface far from the interface so knowing the right direction is important again because if you don't know if you assume that this is out and this is in then basically your acl will never work as per your requirements so this is generally what i have seen many people you know they they just get confused with the direction the direction is toward according to that interface in out so once we understand the right direction what is the right direction as per the router acl not as per our requirement not, not as per you know as what we see we need to just see the logic exactly the same way the router uh, do it so we need to see as if we are sitting on the router on that particular interface so when the traffic flows from one to two because as per my acl rules i'm considering this as a source of course these are destinations but it's not going to check that so when the flow of traffic goes now you need to figure out whether it is going far from the interface or towards that interface so this is my interface g0 by 0 it is going far or, or near so it is going far so it is going to be outbound so which means as per this requirement we need to implement the acl on on which interface outbound direction so we need to go to this g0 by 0 remember these are the rules which we have already created now we are going to apply this on the specific interface and i'm saying this acl 15 it should be applied on the outbound direction so when i'm saying outbound means what's the meaning of that when i'm saying router 2 hello router 2 any traffic before it goes outside which means first check the routing table check the exit interface if the exit interface is g0 by 0 what i'm saying uh, don't forward it just stop and check the rules check the acl rules before you send which means the package will be dropped here if it matches the rules okay so let's go and apply this in is not going to work in this case i'll explain that later on 
but let me just quickly go on the router 2 as per my example I'm going to configure so if you if, if you remember already we created the ACL 15 and the only thing I need to do is I need to apply so I'm going to router sorry router interface g0 by 0 that's the interface I'm going to say IP access group and what is the ACL number okay whatever the number if I'm using named ACL we use name we'll see that later 15 and the direction whether it is inbound or outbound means whether you want to filter the traffic when it leaves that interface or when it comes towards that interface or when it enters the interface so I'm saying it leaves because that is the actual interface we need to apply 